Well, this is Thursday, and I'm taking a double dose of medicine today. I'm taking that diazepam. I guess they call it volume is what the, I think, the generic name, or I don't know what the heck it is. I've been hurting real bad in here. It feels like i got an open wound in there again. Ever since uh, Ed and I went out Monday and went to all those places, I spent about four hours, five hours running around talking to people, and it was too much. Just starting to feel better. So I think I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to concentrate on working on the motorcycle. I'm going to build a 750 Honda, and I don't care if I'm hurting or not. I'm going to take it and go. And like I told my mom, it may be a week, maybe a day, maybe a month, or I may never come back. I don't know. I'm not doing good here. Things aren't really doing well. That pain is just so bad. Any kind of movement hurts it. Even talking here adds pain to it. It just keeps pulling and pulling when I talk. I want everybody to see what really happens. What happens when you get disabled? You know, when you meet me on the street, like you meet me in a store, heck, you think, heck, that's a guy, the spirit of all health. Sometimes you think, heck, that's a total scum bum. I need a shave, dirty or stinky. And my eyes are hanging Look at my eyes now. I don't know if you can even see them. I don't have a lot of light in here. It's awful low light. But lately, I've been working on a computer. There it is. That's the picture I took in uh, Muir Lake, Alaska. It's right by Eagle River, just north of Anchorage. That's Muir Lake. Isn't that beautiful? That's just fantastic. I can't believe it. Absolutely beautiful. If you've never been to Alaska, you got to go. But here I am again. As soon as I start doing something, I start feeling a little bit better. I start feeling a little bit better when I do something that it's enthusiasm. If I just sit there, I go through mental degradation. Yesterday, I was hurting real bad. I went to the store. I wanted to go to the Ed's. I, I went and got gas is what I did and got a soda. And I ended up going out in the country, and I laid out there. I walked for about three-quarters of a mile. The walking seemed to really help. But when I stopped, I hurt real bad. And I laid down. I laid down for a long time, and I heard a motorcycle coming. And the motorcycle uh, stopped. And the guy is a real nice guy. And he just wanted to see if I was all right. I said, yep. I said, I'm just getting out of the city, just getting away from the stress. That's what I was doing. Because stress causes a lot of the problems. starts out, I have a physical problem in here with this terror in my stomach. In my, my diaphragm, that is. And uh, there's adhesions that form something happened after all these dilations. The doctor's going to dilate you. Think twice about it. Start thinking about taking that stuff for uh, uh, acid reflux disease first. If you have a restriction in eating and you need a dilation, try that stuff before you ever go to the doctor for that operation because they'll give it to you. The doctor will give it to you. He's trained to do that. That's what he does. That's how he does it. But it really causes a lot of problems down the road. And uh, I talked to my doctor. He's not interested in finding out about the problems. He's not interested in it. But I have to live here in this garage. I live in a garage. This is a, a 24 from there to just on the other side over here is a 24. But uh, 11 and a half foot room. That's it. That's my bedroom back there. This is my computer room. That's all I need. What else you need? I like to have running water. I'm thirsty. 
I'm going to sign off. I'm going to go up and see my mom, get some water. I'm on pretty heavy medication, so I hope I don't fall down or nothing. I just, I'm kind of dizzy. But it hurts real bad. And it never stops. That's the problem. It just never stops. Okay, my dad always called me X19, so here I am, X19, signing off.